Good evening, everybody. For me, it's evening. It's 6.34 p.m. and 48 degrees. Um, this is my first video. And in my first video, I just want to kind of go over why I want this channel. And I contemplated several times as to whether or not I wanted to even make a video and make a channel for several reasons, which are, some are pretty obvious. Um, and then I contemplated exactly what I wanted the purpose of my videos to be. And I, and I just can't narrow it down to one thing. I, I can't because there's just so many things that I want to address that I can't make it just a one theme thing. I mean, it just would be impossible. There's way too many things I want to cover and way too many things that I want to discuss. And uh, so I, I just figured, hey, it's time to make it and put it out there. And hopefully the purpose works itself out in some way. All I know is I just have things that I want to talk about. Things that I want to get off my chest. Things that I want to share to try to connect with others and not really just connect with others and meet others but just to make some kind of awareness and make sense of this place that we're in um not too long ago somebody that I consider a good friend uh had her children taken away from her because of the videos that she had um, and still has on YouTube and uh I think it's pretty sad. I have a very close friend that I love dearly who is going through issues of um, pretty much the same thing uh, because of the types of videos that she has and what she's discussing and her beliefs and thoughts and opinions on things. And it's really fucking sad and it keeps me from thinking, hey, you know, I really want to get information out there and knowledge out there and share it and receive it as well. And it's sad that you have to worry about things like that just because you want to express yourself and talk about things and share experiences that you have to worry about something like that. It shouldn't be an issue. It doesn't harm anyone. It's not, you know, they're not doing anything to harm anyone. There's nothing going on in these videos that's causing any harm or going to cause anyone any harm. They're just views and opinions and ideas and, and a lot of them are facts too, what they pointed out and their lives are being sabotaged. So I contemplated, <clears throat> you know, because of fear of that happening to me, the things that I want to discuss, the things I want to talk about. And why? Why do I feel the need to even talk about those things? What is the main reason why I feel an urgency to even put something out there to talk about? Is it because I feel lonely or I feel like I'm in solitude and I feel like I don't have anyone to talk to about these things? And I would say no because I have quite a few people I can talk to about things. <clears throat> Do I live in a solitude type of environment? Yeah, I'd say I do. And that's by choice. And a lot of people think that, you know, being in solitude or being alone is a bad thing. It really isn't a bad thing. It's a very freeing thing. So I'll try to introduce myself a little bit. I'm not going to get too personal on here as far as my personal, personal information. But um, as far as experiences go... I'd like to share them and um, I encourage others to share theirs as well I really do and I hope that it doesn't take anyone down a path of where someone's being intimidated or sabotaged in any way that is not my intent that is nothing that I, I want to happen I think that it's time that we break the fear barrier and we just acknowledge the fact that you know things can happen to others um and it's almost like a modern day witch hunt 
It truly is. I've seen a lot of strong women go through it. And not just women, but men as well. I've seen a lot of modern day witch hunts and it's sickening. It truly is. And no, I'm not claiming to be a witch. It's just a figure of speech. So, um, I guess I'll start out with me. I grew up in the country, um, rural area. Um, only child, so I spent a lot of time in nature with animals. Um, just a real closeness with, with nature and animals. Uh, I loved my childhood for the most part until things kind of got ugly. Um, I always had like a very spiritual sense of, of things. I have my first memory, I think, of my birth. What I would say would be my birth. Um, or right after my birth, actually. And uh, just several experiences as a child that I always could read people. I could, I could feel their emotions. And I just figured everyone else could do that as well. And then I realized as I got older that not everybody could. So I guess you could compare it to maybe someone who is clairvoyant or they can see spirits if, you know, whether you believe in that or not. And seeing it since you're a child and into, you know, maybe preteen, teen, adult, you know, you realize that not everyone else can see it. It's just something that's natural and, and you feel that it's natural and then you start noticing other people. Not everybody can. So it was kind of like that. I could just sense other people's emotions. I could feel them. And I could just pretty much read people and just think that I knew I knew what to say and how to and what to do and how to interact with everyone. Um, some people will call that really good people skills. Well, if you have that ability, you definitely have very good people skills, um, and you you're able to just you know communicate with just about anyone on their level. You can kind of I guess you would call it empathy and empath. And um, at the time through my life, I didn't see it. But looking back now, I can see that I had a lot of obstacles that I think were out of my control. That kind of thwart people um, from becoming, you know, certain in a certain way as far as careers or anything like that. Um, so I do know for a fact that you know, people can be, um, there can be like traps and things set for, for people like that. Um, and so it made me wonder how, how do they, how does, if there is this trap, who's setting the trap and, and how are they discovering that you are able to be like that? And that, that's been another issue that I've tried to, um, deal with. And I hope that makes sense. But if it doesn't, I'm sure I can explain more some other time. <clears throat> um, I also thought about dedicating my channel to my mother who passed away in 2012. Um, it, it really bothers me to this day. Um, and I don't think that I am very accepting of what has happened to her, um, and not knowing where she is or, you know, what happens when you leave here. I sometimes feel envious of those who just have this faith that everything's fine and that they're okay and, and you'll see them again. And I, I can't accept that. And I, and I know others that may be watching, um, or listening to this mean, may mean well by offering me some advice um, through your religion and, and I by no means am trying to be rude but I know you mean well but I can't accept that and I don't you know you can offer to pray that's fine um, but that's something that this is this is my path that I need to go down and this is my journey and my you know journey to truth my own truth I demand more in life than to just have blind faith and that is just who I am 
That is part of who I've always been. So I just don't accept uh, anything like that. Uh, I And I will warn you that I do curse. I get very passionate, angry about things. So some sometimes I'm going to sound loud and very passionate and I'm going to cuss. Uh, a lot of people think that that is unintelligible and I, I to you I would say you know I don't give a shit <laughs> don't care uh, you think what you want don't really care so if that may offend you if that's something you don't want to hear that's fine I, I would advise you not to tune in to what I have to say my main objective like I said I don't really know what the main theme's going to be but I do know that um I want to talk about things that I, I need to get out there. And I, and I just feel that I have to. And I, hopefully it brings more good for everyone. I don't mean to have any negativity at all. Um, I will try not to make these videos long. So there will probably be a part two to this. To explain a little more. And uh, well, hopefully... I attract the right people to find answers because I'm always searching. I, you know, when I find an answer to something, I, I, I have 20 more questions. And uh, I think if you're watching this, you probably understand exactly what I'm saying. If you don't, I'm sure sometime in your life you'll understand. <laughs> it's just, I, I've, just wondered if this is part of life. You know, if that's part of the journey or whatever this is. And I have very many ideas as to what this is. Um, so I guess maybe my main theme is to just figure out what this is about. Um, because I have always been the type of person that wants to know. And I never felt that I couldn't know or didn't deserve to know or wasn't worthy enough to know or couldn't handle it or whatever excuses people get throughout their lives as to why they don't have the answers to things that just doesn't seem to make sense even the answers you're given as to why you know they the answers don't make sense <laughs> so anyways I'm going to cut this one short but I'm going to come up with a part two and you know, maybe go a little bit, bit more in depth as the type of things I want to cover and hopefully, like I said, attract the right people um, to help me along my journey and hopefully I help others along their journey. But I do wish it, I do wish everything that I put out, everything that I have to say, I do wish and I do intend my intention is that it benefits the good of every living thing. Every thing in this realm. Whatever you want to call it. Planet, universe, um, dimension, whatever you want to refer to. But that is my intention. And I thank you guys for listening. Take care. Until part two.